Hello, this is a little demo for sample animated headlines. So I'm going to be using a piece of software called Type Art on a iOS app store. It is totally free. Uh, there is a paid version if you want, it's about £20, but this one is free and you do get quite a lot of functionality with it. As you can see here, there's a, a list of uh, sample headlines I've made uh, just using the software. Uh, now, they are somewhat customizable. You can customize the colors and the sizes and so forth, uh, but unless you pay for the, fr the uh, paid version, um, there's somewhat limited scope. So now we're jumping onto the iPad screen here. I've done a screen recording and that's quite wise for you to, uh, to do as well if you're gonna be evidencing your work as you go. Um, I'm actually gonna click on the start over here for a new project and okay, there I am, hello. Uh, the reason being is it automatically defaults to a, a camera for the background and I've actually uh, preloaded a, a black and white background or rather I should say a purely black background in this case because I just want a black background for my uh, for my headline uh, you could use um, a screen grab from your front cover or you could use um, a, a different texture or something like that uh, as you can see here I'm actually selecting the colors for the text that I've decided to use here uh, it's just simply I am Batman as you can see I've chosen the font uh, that I'm going to use and the color I've selected on is just purely black. Um, this software also allows some animated assets that can go in like some little emojis or so forth. Um, as you probably already know, most headlines probably won't be using such things because of the size of the headline It's probably going to be uh, relatively thin as it were. It's probably not going to be much larger than the text but it's entirely up to you. The functionality is there and you can add all of these different interactive assets in and um, uh, make it quite original and of course combined with the text choice uh, you can make it quite uh, unique to your design now here's a little demo i think of the uh well yeah sorry i'm just going to resize here uh, just to it's probably best to work with something around about the size of this screen and I'm just going to demo through some of the different choices of uh, animation and font that you can choose. Uh, you can't actually choose the animations. And you, um, sorry, you can't choose the fonts. You can choose the animations. Um, the fonts come preloaded within the animations. But there's such a huge selection here that you're bound to find something that's suitable for you. And obviously with uh, color choice and all of those different things, then uh, you have a huge amount to choose from. And uh, I'm just doing some this is one I particularly like I really like that rush one and uh, Bond is like the classic Star Wars style thing which is pretty cool would be very good in yellow but the one I think is appropriate is I am Batman in Dawn uh, partly because that is the classic font of the uh, Batman Returns so it suits it and as you'll see shortly um, I've nicked a uh, an article from a professionally produced magazine that relates to Batman so that's why I think it's appropriate so what I've done here is um, I've just saved the project and I'm actually exporting it as a video. Now it's important to export it as a video. Uh, the reason being is that, um, well, I'm using iBooks Author and iBooks Author doesn't support GIFs or GIFs or whatever you want to call them. So I'm coming out of the software now. Uh, I'm going to my um, Photos app and this is this, the next important stage, I'm actually gonna resize the image. I can do this because it's a video which is quite useful natively within iOS. I'm gonna resize it down so that the aspect ratio is more like that. And the reason being, as you'll see, is that once it's uh, dropped over to iBooks Author, it will fit in a banner much better, much better than, uh, than if I was just to leave it with the huge top and tail on there. I'm actually going to airdrop it over to the MacBook Pro uh, because that's what I'm working on. It's zapped over and here we are swapping to the Mac screen where I've got iBooks Author. Now on the left I've actually got the Author app and on the right I've preloaded the um, Reader app. So you can see there's a little preview as to what I've got. Um, and you can obviously see the pages right there. And I'm just demoing natively what those sample headlines look like within the app. And you can see the benefit of topping and tailing it by cropping it within photos is much better. Uh, here is within iBooks Author where I've put my animated headline. Um, 
obviously the the article itself isn't designed to uh, to host a headline of that size, but I think it fits. And on the right hand side, you can see what it looks like as if it was preloaded into the actual Emag itself. Um, so I'm actually just going to show you how to do this um, rather than just show you the final product. So I'm just going to drag in my article and I should mention that I've stolen this from Media Magazine, a very good magazine that's written to support media students. So uh, that's my little plug for these guys and to say thank you, not that they know, but I've just nicked their magazine article to do it with. So I've resized it, um, obviously you can resize it bigger, uh, but I've just set it like that so there's some thumb space either side of my iPad screen so I don't accidentally scroll on my uh, or, or touch my article. Now I'm just going to drag in my asset. Now this one is in my um, primary assets folder because it's mine. I'm going to click play to make sure it works. It works, uh, but obviously it's way too small. So now I'm going to bring over the, um, the viewer tool. And there's a few things we need to click play automatically. I've also selected it to loop, so it just continues to loop through. And I'm going to go on to layout, and I'm going to unclick those th three boxes so that uh, you can see it's not messy with any tops or tails or anything. And now I'm just going to position it and resize it into the correct position. I think it's going to be about right there, similar to what it was. Uh, just drag it into place. Obviously, you decide where it's right for you. I think that's about right for my title. And uh, press play, and there you go. It is pretty much identical to the one that I'd already pre-made. So, in order to double check it, I'm just gonna click on preview. Close that preview window down. It's gonna pop back up, and there it is. And it's working beautifully. So, uh, that's what it will look like on your EMAG once you've inserted it in. And of course, on the uh, the storefront, if you were to put it up, it might be useful to demo that. That's where your demo is. So I hope that's of use. It's a simple piece of software. It's somewhat limited in terms of not being able to uh, manually change the animations or the font types, but you have a huge amount to choose from in there. Uh, you can change the colors. You can add some interactive animated assets. And uh, as long as you export it cropped in video format, um, it works natively in iBooks Author. You just drag it over the top, unclick those buttons, and away you go. Good luck.